All right, well, we've been talking about the heat and humidity returning for the next two days and taking a look at the 90s in June. So far, we haven't had any. It's been a cool start to the month for the first 15 or so days. Now, back in 1988, we had 14 days of 90 degree heat. So we'll see if we add that today and tomorrow. And then once again, perhaps as we get into next week, what's happening is an area of low pressure in western Minnesota is moving up to the north and there is the warm front right now that's going to lift into northern Wisconsin later on this afternoon. Now lakeside areas, you will not see the 90s. You will have a natural air conditioning effect from Lake Michigan as you tend to do during the summer season when we have these hot temperatures. But farther inland away from the bay and Lake Michigan, we're expecting temperatures to get into the lower 90s across the western Fox Valley and farther to the northwest. That's that's why we do have the heat advisories in effect for the day today, and this will continue into the evening hours. Tomorrow, we'll probably have uh, dew points a little bit less than today after we had some rainfall yesterday, so that added a little moisture into the atmosphere. So dew points in the 70s, temperatures in the 90s, that could get that heat index between 100 to 105. What that means, what the temperature actually feels like. And when it gets very humid, you know, our body naturally cools off by sweating, and when it's very humid, it takes longer for that sweat to evaporate into the air and then that's when we tend to have heat exhaustion. So that's why probably not a good idea to go for a run this afternoon. Wait until the evening hours when the sun is a little bit less and the temperatures are cooler. As we go into the afternoon, we'll see these temperatures getting into the low 90s in the Fox Valley and westward. Lakeside areas just a little bit cooler, upper 50s and lower 60s. But then as we get into the later afternoon, early evening, we'll have another day or, or excuse me, uh, temperatures getting right around 90 degrees in Green Bay. Now tomorrow, another chance of upper 80s and lower 90s. Lakeside areas will be a little cooler once again, but tomorrow the big difference will be the chance of severe weather. There is an enhanced risk for severe storms. Yesterday we were talking about a slight risk. The Storm Prediction Center has increased the risk category, and with an enhanced risk, there is a potential for a few tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail. And all three categories are expected uh, for tomorrow afternoon and evening as a cold front moves in. There's a 10% chance of tornadoes, not a high percent. As you know, tornadoes are pretty rare, but where you see the hash markings, what that's representing is that some tornadoes that perhaps might form could be on the strong side. Something, something to monitor very closely. Hail and gusty wind risk will be strongest off towards the west as well. So Skycast does show the cluster of showers and storms firing up as you get into Wednesday afternoon and evening, and these couldn't be pretty strong, severe as that cold front does pass through. Temperatures this morning, upper 50s to upper 60s with humid values dew points in the lower to mid 60s right now. Watch out also for some patchy dense fog. As you can see right here, dew points are in the lower to mid 60s. So getting up to high temperatures in the upper 80s today, then we'll drop down into the 60s, the so lower 70s tonight. And then for tomorrow, we'll get back up into the upper 80s, the so lower 90s. Really, it's going to be tough where exactly that lake breeze boundary sets up across Green Bay. Afterwards, we do cool off with some drier weather heading into Father's Day weekend. All right, definitely going to want to be careful if you're going to be outside today, Gino. Thank you. Still to come in the